The challenges with music as a business is that nobody knows what good music actually is unless they hear something that they just like. My name is John Roderick Graham. I'm a composer for movies, TV, and video games. I think that if you're gonna be an artist, to some extent, you do have to be an entrepreneur. There's a huge premium on authenticity and bringing who you really are to something like composing. If you have a sad scene, and it's already sad, you don't need to write sad music. You need to think about something sweet to recall the person who's died if it's that kind of a scene. Say you're working on an action scene. You sort of have to try to respond to it in a very visceral and intuitive way the first time you go through it because that's how the audience is going to experience it. They're not going to watch it eight times and then decide what they think about it. My timeline for business school was pretty typical. I graduated from college with a degree in English, which is basically poetry and music. Launched into investment banking after college, had no idea what I was getting into. I actually only worked for a couple of years in mergers and acquisitions before I felt like I wanted to return to the arts as soon as I could. I think that if you're gonna be an artist, to some extent, you do have to be an entrepreneur. I went to Stanford for business school. The most powerful thing that business school did to me is it tends to focus yourself on your career. It might have been Trollope who said that if you paint for the masses, you have to paint in bright colors. There are some people who like to compose poetry or music that are so esoteric that only a handful of people can understand them, and I don't have any interest in doing that. I, I really like to write for a lot of people. The show I'm on right now, it's the most watched show in Japan. A lot of families watch it. It gives me immense satisfaction to think of families enjoying themselves together for an hour and that the music will be part of that. I'm most proud of my relationship that I have with my wife and my kids. I feel like that's the most valuable thing you take away in life. I love writing music, but relationships you have with other people are really kind of what it comes down to. 